Hey YouTube, how's it going? This is Keps, here to wish you a happy Thursday. I hope your week's been going well so far. When asking my friends, what should I talk on my next episode of Keps Lock? I had a few responses, but my favorite recently, I got about uh, oh, a half hour ago from my friend Mara. What did Mara say, you may ask? Mara told me to talk about narwhals. So, that got me to thinking. First off, what is a narwhal? A narwhal is a marine creature with a horn on its head. I think it's a type of porpoise, actually. It kind of looks like a porpoise, but it's got a horn. As you can see from this diagram, this would be a narwhal. It's got the unicorn-like horn. It is happy to be a narwhal and is in an underwater setting. The horn of a narwhal is actually very similar to that of the horn of the mythical creature, the unicorn, and I believe it was in the 1600s, probably before that as well, uh, people used to sell narwhal horns claiming that they were unicorn horns. Why, you may ask, am I giving you a lesson on marine biology? Why am I talking about narwhals? Well, like I said, hearing Mara say narwhals got me to thinking. Every November is this project called National Novel Writing Month, or NaNoWriMo. Maybe it's Remo. I always say Rimo. Anyway, it's this really awesome thing. It was started by a guy named Chris Beatty in the late 90s, I believe. Maybe it was the early 90s. I'm not sure. I think it was the late 90s. Um, it was this just this program where people were to take the 30 days of November and try to write a 50,000-word novel, which is a pretty short novel, but it was to try to put an end to all of the people who said, well, one day I'll write a novel, one day I'll be an author. Personally, I've participated in NaNoWriMo for three years now. My first year, I wrote one novel, and it is still probably my favorite. My second year, I wrote two novels, um, one which was pretty decent and one which wasn't as good. And for my third year, which would be last year, November of 2009, I wrote three novels. 30 days. 150,000 words. For those non-math majors among us, that would be one novel every 10 days. 50,000 words every 10 days. And again, allow me to break that down even further. 5,000 words a day. If you're in college, working a part-time job, and trying to have a social life, and someone tells you that it's a good idea to try to write three novels in one month, hit them for me, please. Not to say that it's necessarily a bad thing. I mean, there is one kid here who acts like he despises me because I'm so good at time management, because I did manage to still work enough shifts um, during my class, uh, take a class, um, have a social life, write three novels, and still check Facebook every day. I guess, if nothing else, you really do learn a lot of time management with it, so it is a rather useful tool. Plus, you get a novel out of it, and how many people can say they've wrote novels? So many more because of NaNoWriMo, I, I can almost bet you. How does this all correlate to narwhals, you may be asking? Well, um, last year, one of my three novels, I believe it was my second one, one that I sort of planned but not really, I originally titled Memoirs of a Floorbound Narwhal. Narwhal? Narwhal? Narwhal. I'm gonna go with narwhal. I think it is actually narwhal, but narwhal comes easier to me, so I'm gonna call it that. Memoirs of a Floorbound Narwhal, or narwhal, was originally supposed to be about a student who gets accepted into a um, co-ed sorority fraternity that ends up being a major drinking group. And they kind of, it's a very secret society, very underground, and it was supposed to be really cool all about how this person gets in and, I don't know, the, the antics that ensue from four years of being part of an elite drinking group. What it ended up being about was a person who gets into an underground sorority fraternity co-ed group that ends up being kind of dark and evil and supernatural. <laughs> I don't know where I got powers from, but suddenly <clears throat> they were climbing up buildings and 
almost being vampiristic, but without having to drink blood. It was, I don't even really know. And the narwhal thing didn't really fit anymore, and I was a little sad because I like the idea of being an elitist drinking group. So yeah, I guess that really ended up being another plug this time for NaNoWriMo, but it is a really great program. It gets people to write, it turns people into writers, even if they don't get published, at least they can say, well, yes, I did write a novel, and be very pleased about it. I know I am. I guess that it doesn't really have much to do with narwhals, but you gotta talk about something else, right? Something exciting. Not that narwhals aren't exciting. I'm sure they leave rather fascinating lives. I've, I've never met one personally, but I would, I would imagine that, that the life of a narwhal is rather exciting. <laughs> So yeah, that's all I've got for you this time, but I'll see you next time. Have a good one, YouTube. But here's an FYI, you're all gonna die screaming. All we wanna do is eat your brains. We're not unreasonable, I mean no one's gonna eat your eyes.